Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps and Chapter 3 of our Scarborough Fair story. Now, if you haven't watched the other soap videos, you're going to want to do that because this particular chapter does contain some spoilers. I know a few of you guys are going to ask me about my outfit details, so I will tell you all about that at the very end of the video for those of y'all who just want to get right into the story and the soap making. This collection is launching on May 6th, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, Royalty Soaps. Soaps.com. We've chit chatted long enough, so here is chapter three. Chapter three. Overjoyed and exhausted, you return to Scarborough and head straight to the Red Rose Tavern, owned by a hard-working matron named Rosamund Thatcher. You tell her of your victory and ask if anyone in the village knows medicine crafting. I've been brewing up medicinal potions for many years, she exclaims and immediately starts gathering all sorts of pots and pans. You present the flower petals to Rosamond, who begins concocting a healing potion for your sick father. All we need now is a little honey from the Thistle Meadow Market. Could you fetch some for me? Rosamond asked, her hands busy at the stove. Okay, let's get to mixing. I'm gonna start with my titanium dioxide first. I went ahead and added it straight to the lye water solution just to give all of the layers a nice creamy color. We'll go ahead and blend it. Okay, let's split our batch equally into three different buckets. This is going to be a gradient from pink to purple. Put a little in this one, a little in this one, and a little in this one. All right, let's talk about our colors. So the first one here is Cosmic Carolyn, mixed with a little bit of Pretty Kitty. Cosmic Carolyn is from TKB Trading, and Pretty Kitty is from Mad Mike. It's going to be a nice bright pink. Then we have Raging Raspberry. This is something that I bring out for special occasions. And since this entire soap is fragranced with like a rose wine smell, I felt like it would be a perfect addition. And then finally, we have some Purple Vibrance. This is from Nurture Soap. It is a beautiful purple to round off all of these pinky hues. Before we blend everything up, I just just wanted to show you the two fragrances I'm using today. So I'm using Merlot Wine and also White Zinfandel? Zinfandel? I don't know. The fragrance notes for this one are fantastic. It was exactly what I was looking for to represent an inn run by a lady. We will start by blending up all these colors first and then I will add the fragrance. Right, so we are going to start by pouring all of our pink in. And after I get this layer in, I will layer the next one and then the final one, and then we'll go ahead and do our swirl. Just kind of eyeballing to see which soap has more. Perfect. Ooh, smells so good. So it doesn't really matter if this breaks through this first layer because we are going to be doing a whole bunch of swirling in here. So it just really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go to this side as well and then I'll switch. All right, and now for the purple. All right, sort of tap that down just a little bit. It's still super runny. Okay, now I have to remember every single time I do a hanger swirl like this to pull to the very top or it just will not look as good. So push to the very bottom, pull to the very top. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this set up because I absolutely cannot frost it in this state. We'll start the soap frosting after it's set up a little bit more. 
All right, let's get this frosting started. So today I'm using a different tip. I'm using an Atico 826 tip because I felt it encapsulated the entire look of the soap a little better. And also because I am going to be putting an oil drizzle down this and oil drizzles look so nice with this tip. So the red rose in. It is no affiliation to whatever is at Disneyland in California. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually did not come up with that idea. I used a fantasy name generator. <laughs> And I really liked it and was like, oh, that is so good. And then later, after I had made the design, after Amelia had created the character, etc., etc., that's when I realized, oh, that's something in Disneyland. I've never been to Disneyland. I've only been to Disney World. And I'm not like a huge Disney adult or anything, I guess. So I don't know all the lore. All the lore is lost on me. So try to think of this as the Red Rose Inn in its own world. <laughs> Now, this particular character, our lovely innkeeper, was heavily inspired by my mother. I told Amelia to make sure that she was wearing a dress that had a printed pattern on it because that just totally reminds me of my mom. She's always wearing colorful patterns. I said, tie your hair up and put an apron on because Miss Ma'am is getting stuff done. But all also still looking so adorable while doing it, okay? She knows what she likes. She can be stubborn. She does not tolerate impertinence or any rowdy guests. She'll probably give you tough love and advice. All right, I'm gonna turn this on the side and finish up that last row. Okay, finished. And now I can put the top dollops on. Just teeny tiny dollops all the way down. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are putting an embed on there. Probably not even in the right spot, but you won't be able to tell, I promise. <laughs> Okay, now we can turn this back and let's get our rose, thorns, and vines ready. We have a little bit of green vibrant mica here and I am just going to drip that all over the top. This is our rose plant. It's pretty thick. I really like that, but if I end up not liking it as much later, all I have to do is switch to a melt and pour so that it doesn't leak too much because that's always the problem with adding an oil drizzle is that sometimes it ends up going places you don't want it to. You kind of want it to stay a little more where it was. All right, all of that is on. <laughs> Here comes the glitter. Today we're using some emerald stardust from the Good Glitter. Just gonna get that all over the top. Very sparkly, very shimmery. Just a little bit though, because we do have three embeds on this soap. And now for our red roses. Look how cute. All right, I'm gonna put one right on the top. Wow, this kind of reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and I'm not entirely sure why. Does it kind of look like the stained glass window maybe? I don't know. It's something about this color combo. I am so excited. This looks so cute. Yeah, I can tell this is one of the ones I would want to keep in stock forever. <laughs> All right, let's get some ale barrels on top. Here is what they look like. <laughs> Love these, they're so cute. And these are some big embeds, so they are going to significantly impact the weight of this soap. It's kind of like using a miniature soap to wash your hands. You could just take the embed off and use that. It'd be perfect for a little kid. They're like guest size soaps. Something fun, one of my sisters, is having a birthday and I have made her a custom crown, a felted crown. Somebody on Instagram <laughs> tagged me in these birthday crowns that people were making out of felt and they were embroidering them and they're like, seems like something you would like. And I was like, seems right. Seems like exactly like something I would like. Seems like something I would do. And so I just have made my first crown and my first wand. 
brilliant. And there is room for improvement, it is true, but I think she's really going to like it. And I am trying to find like a pattern. Now listen, I don't know anything about sewing. I cannot use a sewing machine, but I can stitch. And I do know quite a few embroidery stitches, which are pretty easy to look up. But if somebody has a pattern for a little felt crown that they would like to share, I would absolutely love to have it because I have a lot of siblings and I just think it would be so fun for them to have little birthday crowns that they can wear every year as like an heirloom piece that I could gift to them because it is kind of a labor of love. And I just feel like that's the type of gift that means the most. I love gifting people pieces that they can use year after year. Also, my best friend Caroline gave me a Cricut recently and I have kind of figured out how to use it. I actually used it to cut out some of the felt crown pieces pieces, but I am slightly overwhelmed by the amount of options because it just feels like there are so many possibilities. I've also recently become really interested in a glow forge. I think it would be super cool to make custom soap scrapers out of acrylic pieces that I could cut myself. I don't do soap scrapers mainly because they just have to be very customized to your mold and it requires a lot of forethought, but I bet if I could figure out how to make those SVG files, I could make some really cool ones that would fit my custom, specifically artisan soap molds, those 14 by 14 squares. Wouldn't that be fun? I actually reached out to Glowforge to see if they wanted to do a video. So y'all go over to Instagram and tell them that they should <laughs> do a video with me. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, I am delighted. Let me bring y'all in for a close up because the details on those barrels, you guys know, I used them for the barrel rider soap that we did for Lord of the Rings and they, they just serve up looks every single time I use them. I will be back in 18 to 24 hours and we will cut up this soap and take a look at the inside after this quick commercial break. Yee! Now we are looking positively splendid the next day. All the colors did exactly what I want. I literally am not going to change anything. It smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and pull one out of the middle. Oh my goodness gracious. This is exactly what I wanted. It's perfect. Oh, and look at the top. Like, give me a break. That is so cute. I'm obsessed. We'll definitely be stealing one of these for my bathroom. Okay, guys, question of the day. Does this look like a Beauty and the Beast soap and why? <laughs> Why does it look like a Beauty and the Beast soap? It just looks so Disney inspired and I don't know why. If we don't figure out which Disney princess or Disney movie this soap looks like, I'm going to be so bothered, okay? Leave all the comments down below. We have to figure this out together. And I just realized there are probably gonna be a few people that want to know my outfit details. So I got this little pin on Etsy. This little corset that I have on is from Amazon. I got this belt, I think also on Amazon. And I made my little secret potion here with some water. You can get the original potion bottle on Amazon too. Now, these particular wings I got at the Scarborough Ren Fair in Waxahachie. They are a lot less expensive than some of the ones you can find online. And of course, they're very, very easy to put in. So I love them. Now, this hat is from an Etsy shop. I will leave them linked down below because they are still in business and they make some really fantastic, beautiful hats. My mom has a felt hat as well. And I will show you guys a picture of that right now. And it looks like a little flower that's been opened. It's so cute. And then I have some rings on from various people, including local eclectic. And then I have this little bracelet from Rifle Paper and my nail color is from Holo Taco. I will leave the particular one down below. It is from their little metallic collection. And then on my face, all of the colors are from various makeup palettes that I have, including the Lizzie McGuire makeup palette from ColourPop. And then I made little rainbow freckles and added some glitter 
there. So there you go. There's my Rin Fair outfit all completed. Also, I have to show you guys the purse that my brother Elisha bought me for Mother's Day. Y'all, please. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? It's actually functional. There's a little zipper here and a little mushroom to help you pull it close. This is one of my favorite pieces that I have ever owned. I will leave the Etsy shop down below. It's a work of art. It's a masterpiece. We can't love it anymore. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you all next week for chapter four. Um, be sure you do something fun for yourself today. Go out and pick some daisies or maybe you want to try some fancy drink. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, is perfectly fine with me. Just do something for you and I will see you all in the next video. So until then, bye for now.